My feelings are that I'm very proud of my players, very, very proud of my supporters because today they backed the team until the end and it was something amazing. I'm so proud of what we have done this season. I'm so proud of our support. Amazing, amazing. Until the end, until the final, uh, until the final minutes, they were there singing and, and proud of what uh, uh, we have done as a club, you know. And uh, we are together. We're going to go again. Maybe going to be even harder to get a final. But uh, yeah, everything is possible. So we need to keep going as a, as a club, be growing as a, as a club. Yeah, uh, I think I'll I'll feel uh, very proud of of my team because this season uh, has been amazing, uh, and I said in, in other in other moments the success of this season it doesn't depend only about uh, the final result. Uh, in my opinion, uh, my players deserve uh, the recognition because they've done many, many things well. It's only uh, one step because we, we are more ambitious and we want to, it's not enough for us, we want to improve, but uh, I think they deserve that recognition. Yeah, I believe so. Um, biggest occasion and naturally, it's a, it's, a, it's a monumental game in terms of what it means to English football. So to possibly be leading the, the team out in front of all those people and obviously have my family and friends there would be massive for me. Enjoy, enjoy the moment because as they know better than me, uh, we don't play finals every day. It's a moment to enjoy and, and do it, uh, do the same like you are doing in all the games, supporting the team, enjoying the, uh, the, the, the moment and, and, and nothing else, that's all. Naturally we're still growing, there's no ceiling on this uh, club just yet. We've got uh, a lot to offer in the league and obviously this is the first time we've been at a final in 35 years as well. So you have to understand that we're growing and that we're not here every year and it's not a case of let's see the, the small details that need to change, there's a lot that needs to change behind closed doors and he's doing that uh, one small problem at a time.
Woking and we're here at Wembley today to see whether Watford can create history and win this old competition for the first time in their history. Welcome to the 138th FA Cup Final. 736 teams entered this competition that began on the 11th of August last year. Now just two remain. A day that history will be made. The last game of the domestic season and it features Watford. Up against the Premier League champions, Wembley is a sea of colour. Light blue away to our left, yellow, red and black and all the noise to our right. Delafeo looks to find it. It's Roberto Pereira. Can he finish? Oh, Edison saves with his feet. The Brazilian Edison denying the Argentine Pereira. Nice to come to Decore, deflected wide. Watford appeal in vain for handball. Here's David Silva, David Silva shot. And into the corner of the net. And Manchester City take the lead. De Bruyne goes round Gomez. Feminist on the goal line. But De Bruyne surely wins the FA Cup for Manchester City. This is a sight to behold. Watford fans inside the stadium, you'd think they're winning. All the flags being flown at the Watford end of the stadium. And they're actually being applauded by the City fans here. This is quite some moment in the FA Cup final. The City fans on their feet applauding the Watford fans who are waving their yellow red and red flags high above their heads at 5-0 down at Wembley Stadium in the FA Cup final. That's some moment. City's trophy cabinet bulges once more. They've got their hands back on the FA Cup for the first time since 2013. They win the FA Cup for the sixth time in their history. It was a gutsy performance by Watford, but ultimately they've been outclassed by the best team in England who won the Premier League and now they've added the FA Cup as well. The Watford supporters have been absolutely magnificent. Still, the flags fly high in yellow and red at the west end of Wembley. The majority of the Watford fans are still here. It's been quite some season. They've reached the FA Cup final for just the second time in the club's history. And this time, this time, you'd suggest that it's going to be a lot sooner than another 35 years before Watford are trying their luck again in a major cup final. After the game, I only have one target. Try to come back as soon as possible. And I don't want to wait 35 years more, you know. They deserve another final and another result. Yeah, well, 
what we can expect from this club is to keep going, keep going and growing, you know, because uh, we are fighting, we are fighting, we are getting better in every season. Uh, this is not even better than the other than the other one. So, uh, what I expect from the, this club is to keep growing. Click here for more videos.